Our today's story is about revenge. A 45 year old man consider responsible others for his own mistakes. In revenge, he became barbarian and killed about 23 young children after rape. Dabara Singh is a native of Jalapur village of Marissa district. He joined the Indian Armed Forces, and was posted at the Air Force Station at Parthankot. In 1975, he was accused of lobbing a hand grenade at the house of his senior officer Major V.K. Sharma, after having an altercation with him. The wife and teenage son of the officer were seriously injured in the attack. Singh was dismissed and arrested. However, he was acquitted after a trial. He was arrested in three cases of attempt to murder and rape in 1997 by the Kapathala police, and was subsequently sentenced by the court to undergo imprisonment for 30 years. From Kapathala, he was shifted to the Jalandhar Central Jail, and then to the Ludhiana Central Jail, where he spent five years before he was released on December 3, 2003, on the basis of his mercy petition. Singh had three children. His wife expelled him from their house, because of his bad habits. After his release Darbara Singh came to the city and took a room on rent in model house locality, and started working in a factory in the leather complex area. By this time, he had developed a grudge against migrants, holding them responsible for wasting many years of his life. It was during this period that he started targeting children of families of migrant laborers. Singh lured his victims with sweets, samosas, sugarcane juice, and crackers. He took them to a secluded place, where he would attack the victim. In most cases, he slit their throat, and attempted to rape their dead bodies. After his arrest, he said that he raped the dead bodies so that, there would be no shrieks of victims. He preferred time to kidnap the children was between 10 am and 12.30 pm when most of migrant laborers were away in factories. During a period of seven months, 23 children, most of them below the age of 10, went missing from Kapathala city. Of them, six were recovered by the police. Darbara Singh admitted that he had killed the other 17 victims, including 15 girls and two boys. He subjected many of the dead bodies to rape or sodomy. He said that he had dumped most of the bodies near a bridge on the Rayakadur side road. Singh targeted children of non-Punjabi migrants. He killed one Punjabi girl by mistake, and after his arrest, said that he had been shaken by her death. By September 2004, panic had spread among the local residents. In the preceding four months, 14 children had been kidnapped with no ransom demands, and 10 of them were still missing. The chopped arm of a child was found near Variana, and the partly decomposed body of a 10-year-old girl was found in Chehoyu. The police were looking for, a middle-aged cycle-born suspect, who is probably mentally challenged. A special investigation team analyzed the killer's modus operandi and prepared his sketch based on information gathered from different sources. On the morning of 29 October 2004, the police received information about a bicyclist, who resembled the sketch and was seen with a bag of toffees. S.H.O. Pritam Singh was dispatched to nab the person, who turned out to be Darbara Singh. When the police party intercepted him near Bastian, Singh threw away his bicycle and tried to run away. The police apprehended them and questioned him, following which he confessed his crimes. According to the police, Darbara confessed to having targeted 23 children, out of whom he killed 17. Nishu, who had escaped from his clutches on 22 October, identified him from his pictures in newspapers. Magistrate K.K. Career remanded him in 10 days police custody. After his medical examination and court appearance, Darbara Singh led the police to a place near Kadian Willy village. There, the police found bodies of two victims, Kurshid and Ronku, 
who had been killed on 25 October. After his arrest, Dabara Singh showed no remorse, even when he was taken to the sites, where he had dumped the dead bodies. He told the police that he could have killed more children, if he had not been arrested. He said that he had no remorse for killing the children of migrant laborers, as they were instrumental in sending him to jail. He also added that he targeted a Punjabi girl by mistake, and had to kill her because, she could have created problems, for him. After his arrest, Dabara Singh was charged in 18 cases of abduction, rape and murder. In April, Singh was tried for raping and killing 8-year-old Diska on the 18th of April. Her sister Asha and her two cousins identified Singh in the court. By the end of 2007, he was acquitted in three of these cases due to lack of sufficient evidence. On 7 January 2008, the court awarded him death sentence for murders of Kurshid and Ronku. On 9 January, he was shifted from Jalanda jail to the Patla Central Jail for hanging. On 30 July 2009, Justice Medab Singh Gill and Justice Jaitendra Chauhan of the Punjab and Haryana High Court reversed the death sentence awarded to Dabara Singh for murder of Kurshid and Ronku. Citing insufficient evidence, the court acquitted Dabara Singh, giving benefit of the doubt. Dabara Singh was also convicted for kidnapping and causing life-threatening injury to an issue. In 2018, Singh fell ill, and was moved from the prison to the government Rajindra Hospital in Patla on 2 June. There, he died on 6 June, his family refused to claim his body, calling his crimes, unpardonable. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly like and subscribe our channel for more videos.